here. What's going on, Grill Billies? Today, I am excited and honored to be a part of Barbecue Pitmasters of YouTube competition. I'm one of 20 channels going head to head to see who is the ultimate YouTube pitmaster. Today, we're tackling competition brisket. We're talking mouthwatering, perfect bark, super juicy. Are you ready? So let's fire up the smoker and let's start the show. All right, we're gonna be working with a 13 pound prime brisket I got at Costco. Now I will go over every single detail from start to finish on how I'm going to tackle this competition brisket, but here's the cliff notes. Thursday night, we're gonna be doing the trimming, making the injection, injecting the brisket, add seasoning, and letting the brisket rest overnight for 24 hours. Friday night, we're gonna fire up the smoker to 200 degrees, we're gonna re-season the brisket, we're gonna place it in the smoker, and enjoy a beautiful night's rest while the smoker does the heavy lifting. Saturday, we're gonna check on the brisket. When it hits 160 degrees internal temperature, we're gonna wrap it and place it back in the smoker at 250 degrees. We're gonna pull it when it becomes probe tender around 203 degrees. After that, we're gonna let it rest for 90 minutes and then carve in and make the competition plate. So I don't know about you, but let's dive in right now. All right, let's open and trim this brisket. I have with me a Rhineland cutlery. This is a boning knife, and it's pretty interesting on what a game changer it is when you're actually using a sharp knife. This is definitely going to make trimming a lot more easier. If you look down, you can actually see the way the grains are going within the brisket. And I do like cutting at this very tip here against the grain. So what I'm going to do is make a few slices into the brisket itself. Because once our bark forms, you're not going to see the way the grain goes. This is going to be our guide in which way we're going to cut. I do want to say a special thank you to Spitjack. They sent over this very awesome competition injector. I am blown away. This thing comes with its own travel case and assortment of needles. So Spitjack, thank you. And I will be putting a link so you can check out this injector. As far as the recipe for this injection, I'm gonna be using one third cup of Cosmos Reserve Blend, two tablespoons of Butcher's Barbecue prime brisket injection, a can of Campbell's Beef Consumé. This is a 10.5 ounce can, 5.5 ounces of smart water. Let's make this injection. You basically want to about every inch or so come in here about halfway in and then just basically go in here and do a full squeeze. Our brisket is ejected. Now what you do see is we do have this mixture left over. Do not throw this out. When it comes time to wrap our brisket, we're actually going to be using this to pour around the brisket just to help keep it nice and juicy. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some paper towels. We're gonna pat this dry and then we are going to season it up. For seasoning, I'm using Pit Boss's new Lone Star Brisket Rub. So 
So we got the brisket wrapped up. She's gonna go in the refrigerator for 24 hours. See you in 24 hours. Whoa, hey, all right, we are back. So let's fire up that smoker. Now I'm gonna be using a pellet grill, but you can use whatever grill you want. The main key is you wanna keep the temperatures low and slow and using your choice of wood to add flavor to your meat. I'm gonna be using my Pit Boss Brunswick. Once we start seeing smoke, we're gonna close the doors and turn her to 200 degrees. Normally the Brunswick has a built-in water pan but now what I'm doing is actually putting in this super large pan here, and this is filled pretty much all the way up with water. One, it's gonna help regulate the temperatures, but it's also gonna catch the drippings and whatnot. Today I'm gonna to be using Pit Boss's Competition Blend. I'm mixing that 50-50 with Pit Boss's Charcoal Blend Pellets. Now these two are a deadly combo together, and it gives flavors mimicking a traditional offset stick burner. So one thing I did want to mention, if you do have a pellet smoker, you have got to get one of these. This helps sift your pellets before they hit your hopper, because trust me, the last thing you want is a jammed auger in the middle of the night while you're asleep and your smoker errors out on you and you lose all that time. I'll leave a link in the description. This helps me sleep easy at night. So I think I'm starting to see some smoke, so let's close those doors and let's get that brisket out. We are going to... Let's get her out of here so she can be free. Boom. All right, so we re-seasoned her and now all we have to do is put her in the smoker. Smoker hit 200 degrees. Let's get this brisket and let's put it on the smoker. It's gonna place this right above this water pan. I, I do want to make sure that the brisket is not touching the sides. That's it. See you tomorrow morning. And this thing has been pinned at 200 degrees for the last 10 hours. Look at that beautiful bark. So let's see what we're doing here. about 144. All right, after your brisket has spent the night just sitting in the smoker low and slow, usually in the morning, about every hour, I'll spritz it down with a 75% mix of apple juice to 25% mix of 7-Up. That's going to help keep the brisket moist, help protect the bark so it doesn't burn. So we got a temperature probe in her now. We'll tune back in when we're at 160 degrees, all right? All right, our brisket is now at 160. We're gonna pull it from the smoker right now and we're gonna wrap it. Now you have two options. You can wrap in foil or butcher paper. We're actually gonna be doing both. I'm gonna have the base layer as the foil. That's gonna help hold in a lot of the juices. And I'm gonna have the butcher paper on top and that's gonna help the brisket to still be able to breathe when it's in the smoker. Man, oh man. Look at that color. That color is amazing. And then for the sides of the, the foil, we're just gonna tilt them up just a little bit, like so. And remember our ejection mix? We're actually going to take this and then pour this along the sides of the brisket. You just basically wanna make sure that you get both sides in here. And then we'll do one last spritz. And then we'll take our butcher paper. So we'll have the butcher paper going across the top. And then I'm basically going to wrap the foil. Now that it's wrapped. Now it's the home stretch. We basically just have to wait it out. So we'll see you when the brisket's ready to pull. All right guys, she is probe tender. She is ready to pull. We're gonna let her rest for 90 minutes. You do want to have heavy duty gloves on right now because this brisket is going to be hot. We're going to put her in here. Let's cover her up. All right guys, home stretch. We'll check back in two hours, all right? 
All right, the moment of truth. Oh. Beautiful. Now the juices that are in this foil right now, you do not want to throw away. We're actually going to mix it together with some barbecue sauce and then we're going to lightly sauce the brisket as we turn it in for this competition. It is going to be killer. So do not throw away this juice. If this ain't the juiciest brisket I've ever smoked before, I don't know what is. Flapping like a bird, eh? Is that pretty good? <laughs> Let's do the pull apart. Let's see how, my gosh, wow. All right. And then the taste. Let's see. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. Absolutely 100% nailed this one. Wow. What I'm going to do is finish slicing this up. And again, we're slicing based off of the initial marks that we did against the grain. So that's gonna give you your most tender cut. So I'm gonna do six slices from the flat and then I'm gonna cube up some of the point and we're gonna make our competition plate right now. Let's do it. All right, so we got the juices that was left over in the foil, and I'm gonna mix in this Cosmo OPX1, and we're basically just gonna mix it. So now what we're gonna do is basically lightly coat these brisket pieces in this barbecue sauce. Basically, you just want to make it look nice, but more importantly, you want it to taste like this. Now, I actually lucked out. There is a local barbecue competition going on right now, and so I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm actually going to drop this off right now, see what they think. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Wow, <laughs> they basically gave me first place in everything. Seriously guys, this was so awesome. This was so much fun. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. Most importantly though, if you can actually vote for me, I'm going head to head with Barbecue by Biggs. I'll put a link in the description. It's basically checking out a YouTube channel and going in to the community tab and then voting for the grill sergeant, this brisket, was amazing. So, so good. I mean, the awards speak for themselves. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. This was so much fun. I am just honored to be a part of this awesome collaboration and we'll see what we'll be barbecuing next. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Grill Sergeant out. Cheers.